Good morning, friends. Welcome back. It's Leilani. First of all, I cut my hair, but I'm sure you didn't notice that, did you? Um, no, it's fine. Literally nobody in my real life noticed. I mean, I only really cut off about like two inches or so, but um, anyway, there are just some things going on in my personal life and actually pretty major life change coming up that um, I'll be getting into later on in this video. And of course, there are a lot of things going on in the world right now. I know we're all out here just trying our best. So I hope you guys are taking really good care of yourselves. I know that I could definitely benefit from a little extra attention today. So I thought I'd bring you guys out with me for the vlog. I'm hoping that it'll kind of feel like a self-care day out with your friend. All right. I just went for my typical everyday makeup look, but recently I've just been feeling so on. And I think it's just because I've been taking extra good care of my skin. Actually, to start off my self-care day, I'm sure you guys saw me using this device in the morning. This is the Amiro S1 Facial RF Skin Tightening Device. I've been pretty much using this device every single day. They have two different modes. I was using the daily mode this morning. Basically, this uses radio frequency and EMS, which is electrical muscle stimulation microcurrents and this reduces fine lines and wrinkles and really just tightens and plumps up the skin. I use this with the gel that it comes with and it just glides along the skin so easily and this treatment does not hurt at all. It just feels like this nice warming sensation. It's actually really soothing. This would also be amazing to use on days where you have special occasions and you kind of want to look extra snatched. It also has a second mode on here which is the depth mode and I use this with the special sheet mask that it comes with. It has these great grids that you stamp along your face. You hold the device for about six seconds on the grid until it vibrates and you keep moving along. And this is supposed to increase your collagen production by 90.7% in just seven days. And after these treatments, my face literally feels so smooth and taut. I have a pretty good skincare routine, but nothing has given me results like this device. This is well worth the investment in my opinion, especially if you want to prolong getting like Botox and fillers. I would love to avoid that as much as possible so prevention is always key and also as a part of my self-care beauty routine I have been actually doing hair removal this is also from Amiro this is their opal IPL hair removal handset and y'all this is a beast of a device I have actually used other brands for hair removal devices but I just prefer the design of this one so much better like look at the size comparison this is just so much more compact I love the ergonomics of this it just fits really nicely in your hand if you guys haven't heard of IPL before it's actually not lasers. IPL is intense pulsed light. It sends out these really strong light beams that go straight to your hair follicles. So over time, it slows down your hair growth and actually removes it from the root. So I've been doing treatments on my underarms the longest. This is how much hair growth I would get two days after shaving. But here's a photo after only five sessions with the Amiro device. And you can see that it has slowed down my hair growth so much. So I'm really excited to continue using this and reduce the growth even more. And this is so different from all the other IPL devices I've seen on the market. This one has seven different modes that target different parts of your body. So you could do sessions that target your legs, your arms, your bikini area, even your face. And I don't know why the face of this device that actually hits your skin is cooling to the touch. With my other IPL device, it actually feels kind of hot on the skin after a while, but this one is so comfortable. It even has a cooling setting. Plus my other device only has about four or five levels. This can can go up to eight different levels. So you could really customize it to your needs depending on how sensitive your skin is. I am obsessed with these two devices. <laughs> Thank you so much to Amiro for sending these to me. It has seriously changed my skin game. Now let's go ahead and get dressed and head out for the day. Alrighty y'all, so as always, I have some packages to drop off. I think I'll definitely feel a lot better once I start getting some errands done and checking off my list. Since that's getting me out of the house, I thought I'd use that as an excuse to get a couple things for myself for my self-care day. Just to boost my mood, I'm gonna get my two favorite things, coffee and flowers. So let's head out and finally get this day started. Why is it always so bloody hot out here? All right, so successfully dropped off all the packages. So now we are heading to Trader Ho's.
can I get started for you? Could I just get a iced pumpkin spice latte? All right, we're looking at six twenty-five. Thank you so much. You too. Okay, y'all, first pumpkin spice of the season. This is the first time in a while that I've gotten a bubble top. I thought they only do flat tops now. <gasps> no! I'm spilling. See, this is why I don't like the bubble tops. It's like overflowing. <laughs> but in my last vlog, I think I got the pumpkin chai iced tea and it honestly didn't taste like pumpkin at all. Oh no, someone just pulled up right next to me. I feel very awkward. Oh no, this hits. Okay, girl, this is what I've been missing out on. All right, I do have some groceries here, roasting in the car, so it's time to head home. I'll see y'all there. So every day for lunch now, we play the same alarm for Kona. So it's kind of like Pavlov's dog experiment. I'm gonna play it right now. Okay, so Kona is now fed, and I have these three bundles right here that I got all from Trader Joe's. First, I got some roses, eucalyptus, which smells amazing, a little bundle of baby's breath. I've been seeing a lot of TikToks of this guy who makes the most like beautiful flower assortment slash arrangements, I guess you would call them. He also gets everything from Trader Joe's. He makes it look really easy. I'm gonna give it a go. Not really sure how it's gonna turn out though. So first, I'm starting by cutting the excess leaves off of the roses. Then I'm getting rid of the bruised petals, but they were flying the hell off. I got a little worried, but they ended up looking so nice and clean. So now we're ready to start assembling with the other plants. Take a big ol' whiff. Anyway, I selected the roses that I'm using as my center, and I kept adding on in groups of three because that looked the most harmonious. And if the flower is leaning a certain way, don't fight against it. Just let it do what it wants to do. There's usually always a spot that it could fit into and the bouquet ended up looking so full and luscious i was pretty happy with the end result so i just had to trim off the ends and cut off the excess leaves okay y'all for my first time I think it turned out pretty well. It is definitely not perfect by any means, but I was kind of hesitant throughout the process. I thought I didn't have enough baby's breath. I thought that all the petals were falling off these roses. So all in all, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. It is really annoying me though, that you could see the rubber band that I had to put around the stems. I originally wanted to put in my little pink vase that I got from Goodwill because that would obviously cover it up, but the mouth of this was way too big. So just had to put in this clear one. It's kind of crazy how just like one bouquet of flowers can change the whole atmosphere of my room now all of a sudden i'm just really in like nesting mode and i want to fix everything in my room i want to clean it up as y'all know i work from home and i work from this desk in my room as well so i spend a lot of time in here it's very important for me to feel comfortable in my space Alrighty, so the shelves are now complete. I just feel like adding all that green really brought the room back to life. It just completely changed the atmosphere. But anyway, I feel like I'm really on a roll right now. So I'm gonna try to keep that momentum. I'm gonna continue cleaning my room. But before I do, I wanna put on like a nice autumn jazz ambiance just to create a nice cozy vibe in the room.
decided to join us. Kona, do you have anything to say to the people? He loves this mic. <laughs> For some reason, Kona acts like this is his room. So my parents always joke around and they're like, where's your roommate? <laughs> so since I am just chilling here with Kona now, I guess I'll kind of go into why I have been really stressed out and anxious the past month or so. It's actually for a very exciting reason, but I am moving in the next upcoming weeks. Actually, by the time you guys see this video, I'm probably going to be moving in like a week and a half or two weeks. So I've just been having to take care of so many things all at once it seems so it's just gotten really overwhelming the past couple weeks i am very much the type of person that is prone to stress so even if i feel like slightly overwhelmed the anxiety just ramps up you guys have been so incredibly sweet in the comments though i really appreciate you guys i literally have the nicest audience all of y'all are like take some time to rest like no need to rush to come back to youtube and i know all that's true but i feel guilty when i'm gone for a long time and honestly it is kind of therapeutic for me to just keep going and keep filming even on days like this when i am a little more stressed out than usual <laughs> so thank you guys so much for keeping me company i feel like by you guys even watching these vlogs i don't know it does kind of feel like i'm here talking with you but you know i am trying to get a kona did you just whip me okay but yeah regardless of the stress i am trying to get myself excited for this move as y'all know i've been living here in my parents house for about two years now since i moved back from japan so i'm just really looking forward to this next chapter i will be giving more details about my move in the next upcoming videos but i'm just getting emotional because that means i'm gonna leave kona behind because you know he lives here with my parents i can't bring him with me i just don't want to think about it too much you know i have a lot of pent-up feelings right now i think it'd be a good time for me to journal since I haven't done that in a while. girly pops it seems that the sun is slowly starting to go down i am in my comfy clothes now so there's one other activity that i really wanted to try to get done before dinner i know i just shared with you guys that i'm moving in a couple of weeks but i recently remembered that i have these fairy lights that i never used i had them up in like every apartment that i had when i was living in japan but for some reason i never put them up in this room Ooh. Okay, so I have two little pins here that I first want to puncture on each side of where my wall and ceiling meet. So let's start puncturing. Okay, y'all, not me like ferociously sweating now, but y'all, are we seeing this? This literally looks so freaking adorable. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. And I also like that this one actually has a button, so there's different light patterns. So I could have flickering ones or ones that fade in and out, so I could choose depending on my mood. Yeah, it's nice because when I want to turn off the lights, like, come on, how freaking cozy! 